friends uh, how are you hope you are doing well in this video i'll be uh, taking you through uh, the unboxing and review of uh, the lenovo k8 note so without uh, wasting any without waiting any further let's begin K8 Note comes in a greenish yellow package uh, and on the front you can see the device uh, itself uh, there's nothing much uh, uh, mentioned on the front uh, this is a Lenovo branding and here is a Lenovo logo let me turn this around and here are certain details like uh, it has a 5.5 inch full HD display the dual camera setup the Decacool processor the Dolby Atmos uh, um, audio uh, uh, technology and the selfie light a 30 megapixel front shooter uh, 4000 mAh battery uh, dedicated music key and uh, the Corning Gorilla Glass protection though they haven't mentioned which version it, it is and also it comes with a nano coating um, splash resistant uh, uh, design so that's uh, about the uh, external package this is how it looks and it is the uh, fine gold 4GB uh, version so let's unbox this device and let's see uh, what uh, we get inside So here it is, the phone at the top, the K8 Note itself and it comes with a package, it, it comes with a back cover actually, let me remove this, not sure how durable this is but uh, yeah it's, 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 it's good that they have provided something at least. Um, that most phones do not even offer yeah so this is a phone itself uh, let's look what else is there inside the box let me open this all right here's a sim ejector tool and it comes with a warranty and a quick start guide what else okay here is a uh, USB uh, cable to charge the device and here's a charger the 18 watts uh, charger that uh, helps the phone to charge fast it basically it uh, supports the turbo uh, charging technology all right so let, let's look into the device itself it's a gold color variant let me remove this uh, front cover okay so this is how it looks so let's quickly go into the specifications on the front side of the Lenovo K8 Note here's the ambient light sensor a 13 megapixel uh, selfie shooter then earpiece and a selfie flash it's a soft flash basically and uh, Lenovo advertises it as a party flash immediately following that is a 5.5 inch uh, full HD IPS capacitive uh, touchscreen display there are three capacitive buttons on the bottom which are not lit this is a back button home button and multitasking button the screen to body ratio of this phone is 71.1 percent which is better than Moto G5 plus but it still uh, falls behind its uh, the competitors like Honor 6X and uh, Redmi Note 4 on the back there's a secondary noise cancellation mic 13 megapixel sensor and a 5 megapixel depth sensor to produce the bokeh effects uh, that is to focus on the object and blurring of the uh, background that's uh, that's what uh, the uh, depth sensor does and uh, this, there is a dual tone a dual tone dual led flash here and uh, an ultra fast uh, fingerprint sensor that unlocks your device in just uh, 0 0.3 seconds and there's a Lenovo uh, branding and there are two golden rims on the top and bottom of the phone which looks uh, quite similar to the Redmi Note 4 to me on the bottom of the phone this is a, a micro USB charging uh, port this is the microphone itself and the speaker grill and there is an interesting addition uh, uh, by Lenovo um, there is a dedicated um, music button which can also be customized to use other applications as well it's uh, not that easy to press it you need to really ap apply pressure to to uh, make it work and finally there's a dedicated micro SD cards uh, uh, setup and also the dual sim card tray 
on the side set that's pretty much about uh, the sides and uh, yeah here there is a power button and uh, power button and the volume rocker here the power button is not smooth as the volume rocker maybe to provide more grip um, when, when you press it and also on the top there is a 3.5 mm jack and uh, not to forget this phone is one of the heaviest phone in a 5.5 inch segment this is heavier than its competitors honor 6x redmi note 4 and the moto g5 and also it's the thickest so the thickness of this phone is 8.5 mm and the, the weight of the phone is 180 grams that's because of the uh, 5000 series aluminum um, uh, structure uh, that, that makes the phone uh, durable and, and uh, stronger let's unlock this device it's uh, quite fast um, accurate and responsive each time on the very front of the screen you'll see the 5.5 inch full HD display with 401 pixel per inch density and 450 its brightness the viewing angles are good I also checked uh, uh, under direct sunlight and the legibility was uh, uh, quite clear and uh, as you can see the letters are quite clear and the images are sharp so yeah I, I won't complain uh, uh, about the display at all it, it's doing a very uh, decent job at the price range and um, Let's see what this phone is uh, running on. So this phone is running on the Android uh, 7.1.1 Nougat uh, out of the box. Um, the, the Lenovo has decided to wipe off the uh, uh, wipe UI of its Lenovo phones and uh, this is the first time it is coming with a pure stock Android experience just like uh, Xiaomi uh, did with Mi A1. And it's, uh, Pretty neat uh, guys, there are just there are seven uh, Google applications, Microsoft, uh, seven Microsoft applications club together and, and uh, that's pretty much it, no customizations, it's pure stock Android experience. So the, yeah, that was a very good move uh, by Lenovo, uh, it's really appreciated. So yeah, while multitasking I didn't find any uh, issues at all. Uh, let's say I also ran a Geek uh, Bench 4 test and uh, let's see in the single, four, uh, single core and multi core uh, test actually. So the single core uh, uh, test stands, uh, score stands at 1135 which is better than uh, many devices I would say. The Nexus 5, uh, Galaxy S5, LG3, Galaxy Note 4, Nexus 6, 5X, OnePlus One, 2 and Xiaomi Mi 4C. So there are a few devices that outperforms. Uh, these are you know flagship devices uh, I must say that outperform forms this uh, uh, Deca code processor and even in multi-core it stands out at 4426 which was better than the Nexus 5, MF4, 5X, LG3, Samsung Galaxy S5, OnePlus One 6, Redmi Note 3, uh, OnePlus 2, um, Oh, an Xs 6P, Samsung Galaxy Note 4, Mi5, Galaxy Note 7, uh, Galaxy 7 Edge, Galaxy S6 as well, the S7 Note 5, S6 Edge, OnePlus Three, yeah. So only this, there are three phones. Uh, I mean, as far as the comparison goes in this uh, uh, Geekbench, I can only see the Note 7 Galaxy 7 7 Edge, which is running the Exynos uh, processor that outperforms uh, this device. So given uh, it's a Deca Core uh, processor, uh, should not come as a uh, surprise so it basically has uh, 10 cores uh, four quad core and uh, uh, one dual core so this four cores are a53 cortex a53 processor 1.39 uh, gigahertz and uh, uh, other quad core uh, clocked at 1.85 gigahertz and a dual core that is a72 uh, core uh, clocked at 2.3 gigahertz and also it, it has a 4 gb ram and um, Let's see how much memory is available out of 64 GB out of the box. Um, I've installed Geekbench 4 and updates updated most of the apps uh, that the you know uh, got I got the notifications for, and also there was an Android update. So yeah, you get around 47.66 GB um, after updating a few apps and downloading one, uh, installing new uh, Geekbench 4 uh, setup. So yeah, so roughly around 48 or 49 GB I think you should get uh, out of the box and uh, out of 64 GB so that's about it so let's talk about the camera I'll quickly uh, take you through um, all the photos that I've taken uh, in the past uh, one hour uh, both indoor and outdoor so after clicking the photo you need to swipe uh, through the left to uh, directly jump into the gallery that is Google Photos so uh, I took a couple of selfies and uh, it does the job done uh, nothing extraordinary about it. Uh, the image is uh, clear and uh, the color reproduction is good. Skin tone is uh, accurately reproduced. So that's that's pretty much about it. Um, this one I took 
again this one I didn't use any beautification mode I think yeah it's, it's quite natural so yeah this one uh, was a bokeh effect uh, I tried to do the bokeh so you need to be careful while uh, actually using the second uh, you know uh, the depth sensor because uh, the, the camera sometimes uh, struggles to distinguish between the object and the uh, background so here I wanted to actually focus on this flower but it didn't happen actually it focused here and and blurred out the uh, flower itself so you need to be careful while doing uh, the bokeh shots so you see here the borders are actually blurred which should not have happened so yeah it's it's a hit and miss actually this one came out nice perfectly well as you can see all the details are uh, intact this is just a casual photo that I took um, outside my society so even if you zoom in to its full extent you can still see the numbers quite clearly so in outdoor conditions yes it, the camera is performing and uh, doing a, a decent job and this one again uh, the bokeh effect turned out well all the three flowers actually came into focus and the rest uh, is blurred out this is one pic I took from the 10th floor so yeah if you zoom in this far yes uh, the image is still clear if you zoom in further then the pixel gets distorted so this is one uh, pic I took indoor with the selfie uh, the, the uh, rear flash on so you can see all the uh, details there finer details this one was without flash so without flash the images uh, you know you, you see a lot of uh, digital noise you see this pic and this one and again this pic I took in a totally dark room with the flash on you see all the uh, details there the image is uh, bright and clear and all the color reproduction is uh, uh, good this one was a disaster the low light camera the camera uh, you know suffers from uh, you know when you want to take a pic in low light so this is not a low light uh, camera because it has a f2.0 aperture and doesn't uh, allow enough light to pass through the uh, lens to uh, you know capture a good uh, low light image so this one i took uh, there, are, there was a lot of uh, light coming in uh, through the window uh, without flash and this one with flash you can see a lot of finer details uh, with flash then uh, without flash so in indoor lighting condition I would recommend uh, uh, using flash but uh, again the background gets darker when you use a flash you see this white background became actually gray so you need to take care of that so you need to keep that in mind that uh, everything becomes darker actually uh, with, with the flash on this one was without flash of course and uh, you can see all the details uh, quite clearly all details uh, letters are quite visible you can read everything actually so even the full zone it's working absolutely fine and this one again um, this one was taken uh, near the window and as you can see the images are sharp and clear with little or no digital noise uh, this one actually was uh, with the flash on and this one was without flash so pictures with flash indoors are definitely uh, better you see this see this pic and this one so the one with flash is definitely doing a better job and uh, even as I uh, navigating through this pic this part is getting actually warm it has now become heat actually hot I want to say so this has become hot really hot not very comfortable to hold anymore so this one was the indoor uh, bokeh effect the background is blurred out completely and this was uh, again another uh, shot so that's all i took uh, so yeah with bokeh effect you need to be careful uh, it's a hit and miss uh, it doesn't uh, always perform uh, up to the mark it's uh, quite inconsistent and uh, in outdoor lighting condition uh, it does a decent job selfies are good uh, clear uh, skin tone are uh, uh, quite accurately reproduced and uh, that's about uh, the camera um, and I would like to quickly show you the 
music uh, key as to how you can customize it uh, you see you can start any app so right now I have set camera okay uh, so say if you just uh, click on it press on it uh, hold on to it for a second then it opens up uh, camera app and also uh, likewise you can actually customize it to open uh, any uh, list uh, for that matter uh, and also you could uh, play pause music double click next and triple click of previous flashlight and and uh, stuffs like that so that's about uh, the camera and uh, uh, the music and the performance yes of course I mean it wouldn't be a surprise if, if it gets heated up while gaming because even uh, using camera for 20 minutes and uh, browsing through galleries has taken this taken temperature uh, to a very high uh, degree i'm not sure it should be around uh, 39 to 40 degree uh, right now i don't have a, a measurement tool but yes it's it definitely it's it's getting quite uh, inconvenient right now to hold it uh, any longer so let's talk about the pros and cons of the device right before the pros and cons i'll quickly take you through two things one is the sound quality dolby atmos technology so i would definitely want to uh, you know show you the quality of the uh, sound let's play a ringtone uh, say um, this one So yeah, as you have heard uh, the sound, the sound quality is quite good, uh, loud and clear and uh, that, that's definitely a positive point of this mobile and also it's some, it has something called uh, the VR split screen mode. So you could uh, use the Ant VR specifically designed by uh, for, for Lenovo, uh, like Ant VR will get it uh, at a price of 1200 rupees. You could use this to actually, uh, you know, um, watch it in 3D, your, your, your uh, videos or um, any kind of video can be you know split into this kind of uh, mode and you can fit your mobile into the vr headset and you can uh, watch that uh, for full immersive uh, uh, experience but that, that would not be pleasant for a long time uh, for a minute or two or you know um, for short videos like 15 to 20 minutes it's fine but then you could not watch a full movie because it, it's uh, really uh, gets unpleasant uh, for longer periods of uh, uh, vr headset usage I have divided the pros between uh, excellent and decent features. So the first excellent feature of this phone is the presence of Android, uh, stock Android 7.1.1 um, Nougat out of the box. The second one is the uh, MediaTek Helios X23 Decacode processor. Third one is the dedicated SD card slot. The fourth one is the Dolby Atmos technology. The fifth is the Thetamax support. The sixth is the 5000 aluminum series metal build, uh, so they're just strong, durable, and corrosion resistant. And the seventh is a fingerprint sensor that is uh, um, uh, super fast and the, that unlocks your phone in just 0 0.3 seconds. And the last one is a nano coating uh, splash repellent design. Uh, so some occasional spills and splashes and usage of your phone during slight rain should not worry you much. And um, We'll look now at the decent features. So the first one is the battery life. Though the battery life of the uh, Lenovo K8 Note is not as good as uh, the Honor 6X or Redmi Note 4, but it could easily last uh, um, up to uh, 20, I mean, up to through, through the day, it will take you through um, uh, without any issues. So it'll, it'll easily last for a day. The second is the camera performance, which you've already seen. The third is looks and style. There's nothing much to talk about. Uh, you know, nothing great, nothing extraordinary, nothing stands out. Uh, it, the look and the style is, is quite generic and it looks like any other phone available in the market today. So uh, the fourth is a Gorilla Glass Protection, though we don't know which protection is it. It's just that uh, it's Gorilla Glass Protection 3, 4, 5, they haven't mentioned. It's just Gorilla Glass Protection. That's all we know. And the presence of it definitely uh, makes the glass more durable. And the uh, fifth one is a selfie flash, uh, though it's a short flash and I've al already taken a flash uh, a selfie photo which I'll upload in the uh, uh, Google Photos link which I'll share in the description. Description. So yeah, that's about uh, the decent features, uh, the pros of the uh, phone. Uh, now I'll take you through uh, the cons. Let's put aside uh, the brighter side, the pros and the sweet things about the mobile. 
and uh, for a minute at least and let, let's consider the darker side because it's important for you to understand the flaws and shortcomings that this phone comes with if you're if you're planning to buy one the very first thing is the bulky design and uh, the 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 weight of the mobile because i've been using a 5.1 inch screen that is a samsung galaxy s5 with which this entire video is short and uh, uh, it just weighs 145 gram and jumping directly from 145 gram to 180 gram would not be an easy transition trust me and for those of you who have been using a 5.1 inch screen please play around this uh, with this mobile if you have if your friend has bought one or if you could just get get a hands on uh, for at least five ten minutes you'll at least have an idea as to how heavy and bulky this device is so i've been always fascinated by uh, you know uh, slim devices like uh, moto c force or moto c2 play or uh, 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 me a1 or um, um, samsung galaxy s6 or even iphone uh, uh, 6s or 7 for that matter which are like uh, between uh, 5.9 mm to uh, you know 7.3 or 7.4 mm uh, thickness so personally i feel that before even i could enjoy uh, the camera performance or the video performance or the gaming performance or or uh, any other uh, you know uh, well known feature of of any phone uh, i would i should at least be comfortable uh, to hold this phone actually but if i'm not comfortable holding this phone uh, forget all these specifications that this would definitely be a deal breaker for me i mean uh, come on 8.5 inch thickness and 180 gram i would straight away uh, uh, say no for this mobile uh, by the way this is not mine this is uh, uh, given by my dear friend makran who has generously uh, let his uh, phone uh, unbox uh, he has bought this phone for his wife and he, he has let me uh, do this review and unboxing i'm definitely uh, grateful for you mac if you're seeing this for you so uh, that that's the first um, uh, con of the device and uh, the second thing is the heating issue actually so i've already spoken about it it gets uh, slightly warm and it's unpleasant it's not very hot you would still be able to operate but it's not a pleasant experience not a very it doesn't give you a very nice feeling if something is warmer it, it it's kind of irritating and uh, you know unpleasant for your fingers so that's one thing and uh, many people say that it does not support slow motion in fact it does actually i saw that the, the this phone features a slow motion uh, video and the only thing it doesn't have is the 4k uh, recording I mean, come on! Like, even if you do a full HD, dis full HD recording for 20 to uh, 20 minutes or 30 minutes, it goes up to a GB. Where will you store all this? I mean, wh why would you want to record a 4K uh, video with a mobile phone? I mean, where is all the storage? Where where will you keep it? 64 GB will be finished in no time if you record for 4K. So, absence of 4K video recording feature is not, uh, at least, not a deal breaker for me uh, if you are looking for one yes you must know that it it's doesn't it doesn't contain it doesn't support 4k recording and um, what else uh, so the heating issue and uh, yeah one more pro of this device i forgot to mention is it's turbo charging te charging technology it took me around uh, uh, like one hour 25 minute uh, to charge from 0 to 80 percent and uh, in one hour 30 35 minutes it charged up to 90 percent and after that it, it you know uh, it stretched for another half an hour to 35 minutes to complete so it took around two or four minutes uh, for me to charge the uh, phone from zero to hundred percent that that's uh, pros so keeping this uh, you know negative side in mind if you could overlook uh, the bulkiness and the heaviness of the mobile uh, it, it's a pretty good uh, value for money you could you could directly uh, straight away go for it so that's about my honest uh, and unbiased review of this phone uh, if you have liked this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel uh, it will help my channel to grow and uh, i'll continue to uh, make such uh, more videos uh, in the near future thank you bye bye